Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to York Manor. Uh, so yesterday we did a whole lot of cleanup. I know it doesn't look like it. Um, but we cleared out this whole section. It used to have a bunch of uh, like trim and there was some sawhorses and there was a vanity over there. There was a piano right there which is missing two wheels and was the biggest pain ever to move. Um, we got all that cleared out of here so that I could clear all the plaster um, off of this room. So that was kind of what I did yesterday. Uh, one thing we figured out is that all this plaster like this is significantly easier to clean up than it is when we mix the wood, the wood lat and the plaster at the same time. So yesterday I cleared all this plaster, um, got the trim off of a bunch of these windows and started the project here in the entryway. Um, so that was the big thing. We're setting up downstairs in the basement to do some paint stripping in a nice small, tiny enclosed space with highly uh, noxious chemicals. Just kidding, we've got exhaust fans and we're actually using um, some low V uh, chemicals to try to strip some stuff. But we got all that set up in the basement, got the, uh, the plastic sheeting down and whatnot. Um, we got all this, you can't even see it under all this rubble, but we got all this ram board put down, which actually takes a little while. Um, it's kind of a little unwieldy to mess with because it just rolls up. So what we figured out is, hey, I've got two by fours from disassembling parts of this house. If we just put them on the back where we start, it stops it from rolling up. Crazy, who would have thought? So that's what was kind of going on. Today, kind of the plan is get this cleaned up, get it into the truck, and then start pulling all this lat down so we can get this room looking as good as that dining room. One part I am mildly and actually kind of deathly afraid of and scared of is this amazing trim up here. So this amazing trim is, let's see if I can get a good picture. That is completely original to the house. There's even portions of it on the outside around some of the windows that were never messed with. Um, but what we know is, if we look above this cabinet, um, there's a back door that has this trim, is that these are very, very fragile. So taking that down is probably gonna be quite a little process. There's some more on this back side right here. Um, I'm gonna have to be super gentle, uh, trying to take that off and save it. So we know that that's gonna be kind of fun. And then working to get this beam off right here, see if it's uh, load bearing. I don't think it is at the moment. I think it's just purely aesthetic. And then seeing what we can do about stripping it and getting it back up to the glory that it once was. The other thing was, fantastically, uh, while stripping this beautiful wall, I found some nice more exposed wiring. Um, but. Because I'm very, very safe, I hung these two giant metal bars on either side. So if you hit it, you, well, they're metal. So yeah, you'll probably shock yourself. But they're there for safety. Just kidding. Uh, they're actually not live. Um, I checked them. I touched them. It didn't hurt. No, I checked them the right way. Um, and they're good to go. They're just uh, in there. They're probably some sort of low, low voltage system that was probably related to a doorbell at some point. We've actually found two or three of these lines throughout the house. And from what we can tell, doing a little uh, Googling, a little research, a little Facebook questionings, um, that's, that's what those wires appear to be. They don't appear to move any sort of uh, actual voltage. So, so that's kind of a good thing. Uh, we're slowly figuring out where these pipes go. You can see where I cleared off this lat or this uh, the drywall actually that was up here, sheetrock. Um, that that pipe goes up and over. Uh, it's bent, and I don't know why they bent it and didn't use like some sort of coupler or a ninety or something like that. Um, but I'm sure we'll figure that one out today. But saving this trim has been a lot of fun. It's real interesting. Got some ideas for it. Um, on how to bring it back. I've been doing some uh, some YouTube, some research, some some reading all around. But for the most part, that was kind of the day that, and we had a bunch of trim upstairs and a bunch of light fixtures and just kind of stuff that gets in the way when you're doing demo, AKA you're dropping concrete from the ceiling. Because essentially that's what this plaster is, is concrete. 
Um, so we're trying not to damage as much stuff as we can. And even though we're now, we know we're going to be refinishing a whole bunch, um, we want to minimize that damage. But anyways, that was the progress. We're getting there uh, slowly but surely. I have to sh sh throw some huge shout-outs to, uh, to my friends, especially uh, Cynthia. She's been a massive help, a great uh, amount of knowledge. And then yesterday, my little brother came over and helped me do all the prep work and clean up and move all that the boring crap that nobody wants to do um, and set up for uh, clearing this plaster and clearing this out. So thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate all the comments and all the, uh, all the suggestions and everything. Keep them coming. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. This was clean, I promise.